Afternoon folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School and I'm out here on a dirt road but unfortunately the highway is right next to me so you're going to hear some trucks go by, I apologize for that. What I want to talk to you about today is a little bit about handline fishing, a little bit about how to cast lures and use lures with a handline and I want to show you this handline that I custom made out of bamboo and talk through the construction with you and how I've got it set up and then we're going to go fishing so stay with me. All right, so as you can see, this is a piece of bamboo with a stopper in the bottom of it. And the advantage to using bamboo as a medium for something like a hand reel is that you actually already have a hollow tube for storage. And it's easy enough to cut another node with another hollow tube and make that your stopper. And that's what I've done, but I've also got a little compartment in here as well I want to show you. And all I've done with this is I've skinned it, I've wrapped it in inner tube here, wrap line over that and I've got an inner tube keeper here. I've lashed it here with number 12 bank line just to keep that from splitting out when I put the back end in it. And I've got a little tether here, more to keep me from losing the cork end of it if I've got it opened up and setting it down the ground than from losing the hand reel with a fish. I'm gonna hang on to it if I got a fish on it. So let's open this dude up and you can see that I've just made a cork, but that cork has another container built into it. So now I have a hollow tube here in that hollow tube, I have two casting bubbles and a bobber for still fishing. And both of those, or all of those actually, fit inside the handle just like this for storage. And now in this side of the cap, I have a small secondary container that nests inside the cap here that has two extra pieces of inner tube on it for line keepers. And it also has inside terminal tackle and lures. So we'll go over here in this recess of my mountain hatch tailgate. So nothing flies off the tailgate. And you can see what's in there. You've got two running lures there, MEP style lures, some of my favorites. And then you've got several small hooks, a couple swivels and several sinkers for still fishing, bobber fishing, and things like that. And all of that stores inside this tube, inside the handle of this fishing kit to make a nice, neat kit. Now, how do we set this up for fishing with lures? Well, one thing that you can use to cast lures with is if your lure is not very heavy, so it doesn't throw very far, you can use a casting bubble to accommodate that. And the length of line behind your casting bubble, go back, grab a casting bubble here. The length of line we have behind this casting bubble is gonna dictate how far that lure can sink. So in more shallow water where you might not be able to retrieve it as fast as you could with a spinning reel, if you take that length of line and you make it only two or three feet, that's as deep as your lure is gonna sink in that water in shallow water, and it's not going to drag the bottom. You can also control it from dragging the weeds that way as you're retrieving it. So we'll keep one of these casting bubbles out and we'll show you how to tie that on. We'll go ahead and put one of them back in the tube here and we'll put the bobber back in the tube. We'll get all of our terminal tackle back inside. We'll keep one of our lures out. I think we're gonna keep this green lure out today and use it. And so we'll put the white one back in. Drop him inside. And then we'll put our cap back on. And then we'll nest it back into the butt cap. And now we nest everything back together and we're ready to set up to go fishing with our casting bubble and our lure. Now, generally, I will go ahead and just tie a lure to the line first with whatever knot I, is my favorite. And then I'll decide how much line I need to cut that off and tie to one end of the casting bubble. And then tie the other end to the remaining line on my hand reel. All right, so we've got everything tied up and ready to go now. Let's head to the water and talk about it a little more. Okay, so now that we're ready, we need to unwind this off the spool past the casting bubble. Because the casting bubble is what we're going to use to throw this out there as our weight and we've got about two and a half feet of line behind that. Oh man, got a fish already. Oh, he jumped off. No, he's still on there. <laughs> Little baby bass hit that thing. Hung up in the weeds there. We'll get him in here. He ain't nothing but a baby, but boy, he jumped on that thing quick. Get him up here. 
Look at that. Right off the bat, that dude jumped right on that bait. Man, oh man. So, yeah, not a keeper, but fish right off the bat. So now we just kind of straighten things out. If we got things buggered up a little bit, getting him into shore, we'll take some of this line back off when we were pulling through the weeds there. And we'll wind it back up on there. There we go. And then we'll just kind of wind it back up on there neatly. And again, it's just a matter of getting yourself enough line off of this reel to throw it and then release the line with your fingers after you throw it. So you've got your casting bubble and your lure. And basically you could just cast it underhanded like you do when you're hand line fishing with like a bobber and terminal tackle. However, if you really want to get that thing out there a ways, you're going to have to learn to be able to cast it kind of like this. in the top of the weeds a little bit now not too bad depending on where I throw it So it's not a real difficult thing. It's just a movement that you have to get used to doing. Oh yeah. You're going there for sure. Get out of them weeds. Come out of here, you. Go ahead. There. Nice. Nice sunfish right there. Nice one. All right. Love it. Get him off of here. A little bass there. Not a big one. Definitely a fish. Guys, listen, I appreciate you joining me out here today for just a quick half hour, 40 minutes on the pond. Again, you know, if you want to throw a lure, like a MEPS, like a rooster tail, even something like a topwater lightweight fly, and you want to get that thing out there where the fish are, a casting bubble is always going to be your friend. And with these hand line kits, the casting bubble is easy enough to use. If you got the right kit, easy enough to store. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business. All of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back to another video in this series as soon as I can, guys. Thanks. Thanks.